Howdy y'all, this is Proverbs 4 in the RSV for December 4th, 2023. Hear, O sons, a father's instruction, and be attentive that you may gain insight. For I give you good precepts, do not forsake my teaching. When I was a son with my father, tender, the only one in the sight of my mother, he taught me and said to me, Let your heart hold fast my words, keep my commandments, and live. Do not forget, and do not turn away from the words of my mouth. Get wisdom, get insight. Do not forsake her, and she will keep you. Love her, and she will guard you. The beginning of wisdom is this. Get wisdom, and whatever you get, get insight. Prize her highly, and she will exalt you. She will honor you if you embrace her. She will place on your head a fair garland. She will bestow on you a beautiful crown. Hear, my son, and accept my words, that the years of your life may be many. I have taught you the way of wisdom. I have led you in the paths of righteousness sorry. I've led you in the paths of uprightness. When you walk, your step will not be hampered, and if you run, you will not stumble. Keep hold of instruction. Do not let go. Guard her, for she is your life. Do not enter the path of the wicked, and do not walk in the way of evil men. Avoid it. Do not go on it. Turn away from it and pass on, for they cannot sleep unless they've done wrong. They're robbed of sleep unless they've made someone stumble. For they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence, but the path of the righteous is like the light of dawn, which shines brighter and brighter until full day. The way of the wicked is like deep darkness. They do not know over what they stumble. My son, be attentive to my words and incline your ear to my sayings. Let them not escape from your sight. Keep them within your heart for their life to him who finds them and healing to all his flesh. Keep your heart with all vigilance, from it flow the springs of life. Put away from you crooked speech and put devious talk far from you. Let your eyes look directly forward and your gaze be straight before you. Take heed to the path of your feet, then all your ways will be sure. Do not swerve to the right or to the left. Turn your foot away from evil. I always love the illustration of the path, the way, right, getting brighter and brighter, more obvious, clearer and clearer, just like the sun rises and eventually it's noon and you can see everything, versus a moonless dark night in the woods and it's like you don't even know what you're falling over or that there'll be a pit for your foot to get stuck in, right? That, that's scary and it's you can imagine being fearful in that situation and then the fear amps up the anxiety as it gets worse and worse and spirals out and I feel like a lot of people live that way in, in a state of desperation but over and over we're promised here from a father get wisdom go after it, seek it and then it's going to keep you in the right way of living you're not going to fall prey to some of these traps in life, you know. Not just the easy way. Some of them are clearly the evil way. Going and robbing people, things like that. But when you walk, your step will not be hampered. And if you run, you will not stumble. Keep hold of instruction and don't let it go. She is your life. Again, the illusion of like wisdom as a woman, somebody that we need to not protect, but cling to and guard. And for that, we get a reward from her nature. Keep your heart with all vigilance, for from it flow the springs of life. Today, it was mentioned, the verse in Corinthians, I think it's 2 Corinthians 5, about guarding your thought and your heart and keeping, taking all your thoughts captive. So, it's hard out here. It's hard for everybody, right? Some people weighs on them more than others because they haven't learned to let go and put things in perspective. Jesus commands us to not worry and not be anxious.
doing that, practicing that, that's the difficult part, right? Over and over. Please, here, son, listen to me. Here, please listen to me. Son, hello, listen to me. I'm trying to help you here. I just like that the beginning of wisdom, the beginning of wisdom is this. Get wisdom. And whatever you get, get insight. So it's the start of wisdom is valuing, knowing what wisdom is, valuing wisdom and going out and seeking it. It's like there's a couple of like training steps, like baby steps, right, to even get there before you can tap into that. And it's clearly over and over in Proverbs, this is not a passive thing. This is searching, praying, researching, looking, reflecting. It's an active process every day, all the time. Sorry if it's a bit dark. I thought the sun was coming out for I don't know, an hour before sunset. Keep seeing blue skies peek through, but clouds blowing through. And I finally remember, remembered my Bible to bring it, the, the one with all the footnotes. It's the new revised standard version, not the revised standard version. So maybe we'll do that in the future. I don't know how much different it'll be, but I was looking forward to all the footnotes and all the stuff in it because I was already seeing like different readings and things like that is what it is I'm not going to change translations at this point so sorry to be so far behind I am trying to catch up trying to take advantage of the natural sun but man it, is, it has been a rainy weekend so not a lot of that happening but go with God be blessed Get wisdom, get insight.